the Graphisoft Virtual Building Explorer is an innovative interactive 3D presentation tool for architects, which sets new standards for design communication and presentation. Here you can see an office design project opened in ARCHICAD. Let's proceed and export this model to Virtual Building Explorer. ARCHICAD and Virtual Building Explorer are fully integrated. All you need to do is to activate the Export for Virtual Building Explorer command from the File menu. The 3D model will now be exported, and Virtual Building Explorer can be launched instantly. Virtual Building Explorer is a professional tool that fully explores your design while captivating clients, builders, and consultants. Press the Escape key to display the Virtual Building Explorer menu and access various program options and settings. The Controls page allows you to control navigation speed and adjust various movement options. By default, you can use the arrow keys as well as the W, S, A, and D keys to determine the direction of movement. Let's start the navigation with the help of the mouse and the arrow keys. The mouse controls the target point of the camera as if you were just turning your head and looking around. With the help of the mouse and the arrow keys, you can easily walk around in the hall. Let's go up the stairs to the first floor. All you need to do is navigate towards the stairs. Thanks to the gravity feature, Virtual Building Explorer understands the basic laws of physics. You can benefit from these during the navigation. The gravity feature recognizes stairs and slabs and keeps your camera above the horizontal structural elements at a predefined distance. By default, this distance is set to eye distance. This greatly helps the walkthrough when you wish to go up stairs or ramps in the building. The collision detection feature recognizes walls, columns, and other solid components and by default will not allow you to navigate through these structural elements. At the same time, thanks to the egress detection feature, you can walk through doors, windows, and other openings just like you would in real life. Gravity can be disabled at any time by switching to the fly navigation mode by pressing the F key. You can stop at any time in the fly mode as well and use the mouse to look around if you wish. Use the shift key to move faster or the control key to move slower. When using the fly mode, the collision detection function will be automatically turned off so you can freely fly through walls, slabs, columns, and all other structural elements. Let's continue our tour from the entrance hall of the building. Let's go up the second flight of stairs and stop here for a moment. Virtual Building Explorer can greatly help design decisions by providing important design feedback at any stage of the design development process. It can be vitally important to know the exact distance or headroom between the ceiling and the finished floor of the gallery slab. It literally takes only a press of a button, in this case the M button, to activate the measure tool and measure the distance in question. Notice that the cursor's shape changes and the measure tool pop-up palette helps you complete the measurement. We can do as many measurements as we wish at any stage of the navigation. Let's proceed and have a quick look around the first floor. Besides measurements, element information can also be displayed about any element of the project. Press the I key and notice that the cursor shape has changed again and the element at the cursor has been pre-selected. The pre-selection changes as you move around with the mouse. Click the mouse at any time to display the element information palette. This palette will inform you of the element ID, type, and layer name, as well as the size and volume of the element and the floor on which it is located. Let's continue the tour and walk towards the bridge above the entrance hall. 
Please notice that there are no rails on the bridge, and if we're not careful, we might fall off the bridge back to the place where we started our tour. Let's display the menu once again by pressing the Escape key on the keyboard. At the Settings page, you can fine-tune transparency characteristics. and define sun altitude, azimuth, and brightness, as well as view cone, camera height, radius, and so on. Notice that the stereo view option is currently switched off. Let's switch it on by using the red cyan stereo view option. As you can see, the image display is changed all elements are displayed with red and cyan contours. The color displacement is stronger in cases where elements are closer than for those in which elements are further back from the viewpoint. Using stereo glass viewers, we are able to explore the project design in a unique 3D environment. Using Graphisoft Virtual Building Explorer and Graphisoft Archicad, Architects and designers can explore their project designs with greater clarity than ever before.